Hello, beautiful muses. Welcome to Cosmo Muse Tarot and another weekly Friday insight with your yes, no, maybe questions. So just a few housekeeping items to start with. The way you phrase your question, do so that if you were to get a yes, that would feel like the positive outcome to the question. The other thing is, you know, feel free to bring whatever questions you want here, but just sort of a disclaimer that um, the way that I'm reading the energies, the answers I am giving are going to make more sense if you bring deeper questions here. So my typical example is instead of asking something like am i going to get this job where it's a really black and white question it's just really um yes no black white those kinds of questions where it's just like a really simple this is or isn't happening um you know like roll some dice flip a quarter whatever you know something that gives you a black and white answer may uh, make more sense to you. Um, something that would end up making more sense in how I'm reading the energies would be if you ask something like, would I like this job if I got it? Is this the right kind of job for me? Am I looking for the right kinds of jobs? Those are a little bit deeper, but by all means bring what you want. And if it is a little bit more of a simple question, just kind of take what makes sense to you. Okay, that said, we've got four piles today. We've got pile one, which is an opalite. We've got pile two, which is a um, kind of aqua or green calcite. And then we've got clear crystal quartz, a little bit of a raw piece here. And then we've got aqua marine. Okay, for those of you that have your own method for choosing piles, you can pause here to do so. Timestamps are in the descriptions. For everyone else who enjoys the uh, breath work that I do to help you get sort of into your intuition as well as into higher self and inspiration, we will jump to that now. So place your feet firmly on the ground. Feel that sturdiness, that stability underneath you, like you're being held. And take a deep breath into your body to kind of ground and weight into that. And um, just like really get into embodiment and hold that breath for just a minute. And then exhale and now take another deep breath in and this time suck the air up 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 into the space between your brows hold suck in just a little more to add pressure and then out loud exhale opening up that crown chakra and now gaze over the four piles and ask which one has your aligned message. All right, I will see you in your readings. Hello, pile one. Welcome to your Friday insight. Yes, no, maybe reading. You guys picked this opalite stone. And before I get to your three cards, just want to tune into some of the intuitive hits that came through. Um, there was nothing really major that came through just as I was working with, um, you know, your cards and organizing and getting ready to do your pile. It was just, it just had this like calm, kind of clean, calm feeling. And I don't know why I wanted to, like I was about to say centered, but something held me back from that. So that may be something where it's like calm, but you're still maybe like trying to find your center here. Um, but I get the, the feeling that it, like you're close to feeling in your center with this question. Stick with the calm that's coming through. Um, you're getting to the center is what I feel. 
Okay, so that doesn't necessarily give us a yes, no, maybe. It's just kind of some general vibes coming through. Um, so we're gonna look at these three cards to kind of tease out what the answer is here. We've got the fates. Beautiful, and I can't help but feel this thing of, yeah, kind of like she's really, um, you know, she's got her eyes closed, she's hugging herself. It's like she's really gone inward, and by doing so, some magical things are kind of like organizing around her. And so this is, to me, it's like keep that calm feeling that you're in, you're getting to your center, but you need to go inward more to do that. And by doing so, something really beautiful and magical is kind of organizing around you, if you can stick with that. The Hierophant, beautiful. Um, and then community. We've got rainbow there. We've got a lot of wings going on. We've got butterflies. We've got the, in this particular card, the Hierophant has wings. And then this, the fates, she has almost like pixie or fairy-like wings. Um, this does very much so feel like a yes, dependent on you getting into your center. And I think once you do, once you do that work of really getting further and further into the center of you, um, it's like you suddenly touch into your core power and then you come back out. You move from being like very inward to really knowing your strength externally. Like I'm not really reading the Hierophant in this particular reading as like external guidance and external like following some sort of tradition or religion or system or guidance or counseling this feels like you this feels like a shift in you moving from like yeah getting something very much so in your center and then coming back outward and you being that figure you stepping into this very powerful kind of um pillar of something pillar of community like stepping into pillar of community some guiding force in community but it's like you need to find that strong center place inside of you in order to be that strong center place for others and i do feel that it's like there's you know the butterflies are all going in um the same direction they're like following something and then there's this guiding light here and i feel like that's that's you others are flocking something about this question it's like um, it's your energy that will help bring things together in your external world. So even if it doesn't resonate what I've said here about being a pillar of community, there's something that when you find your strong inner center, you will appear really strong in your outer world and the world around you will start to kind of bend to your will or organize around your centering. Um, so it is, you know, like a really positive reading. The yes is dependent on you doing that work of getting, uh, you know, into that really core place. Don't come back out of going within, of dropping deeper and deeper into yourself, into your intuition, into your inner realm, into your inner knowing. Um, into your depths until you feel like once you open your eyes or open back up to the external world around this question you can be this figure once you feel like you can open up and be that that's when you're going to get your yes so it's dependent on you being able to reach that place and I do think that there's a little more work to get there but you're on the right track so yeah, that is where I'm going to leave you guys. It's a really beautiful, positive read though, and all the potential in the world um, dependent on you sticking with 
where you're at right now, continuing to go deeper into that. Okay, if this resonated, I always appreciate the things like, share, subscribe, and definitely I'm always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments. Um, it's always nice to hear from you guys, kind of feel like there, there's people behind just numbers and stuff. So, you know, that, that always adds like a nice touch to be like, oh, there is a human there. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. And I hope you have a beautiful uh, day whenever and wherever you are. All right. See you guys. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your Friday Insight. Yes, no, maybe reading. You guys picked this beautiful green slash aqua um, calcite. So before I get into your three cards to tease out the actual yes, no, maybe, I just wanted to bring up certain intuitive hits that came as I was preparing your pile, um, the way things were just generally feeling. Um, and it's interesting so far in these readings, there's been just like a really light, gentle energy and that came through um, definitely for this pile. It felt very nice. And then I had this thought of like, well, you know, sometimes our questions require that we get uncomfortable. So is this comfortable feeling holding you back? And I got this immediate no, like there's something positive about like there's something cozy going on around either around you in general or something about this question has a cozy a comfort level to it I guess you would say that's what it feels like there's like a comfort level here um so even though it already generally feels positive I don't want to give any definite yes no type things until we actually look at the cards and get a little more context of what this feeling's about fork in the road okay i have some thoughts on that nine of air and truth yeah yeah you know you know what is right for this question. <laughs> this is not um, a yes, no, maybe I can give you. This is putting it back on you. You know, and how you're gonna know is there's going to have this, um, like your intuition has the answer here and how to know whether something is your intuition telling you something or an anxiety telling you something is your intuition is going to be neutral about it. It won't feel like um, hard pressed or excitable or down. It will just be like, yeah, that feels right or no, that doesn't feel right. It's a settled feeling. Um, so you need to drop into like asking yourself this question, closing your eyes and feeling within. Try to wait for any kind of more up and down feelings to subside. Wait until there's just like really neutral calm. And sometimes that might even take you a couple days to kind of get into a place where you feel like you can get that, um, where you're in a neutral mood. Um, but that's what's being asked here. You need to kind of get to a place where you can feel a neutral feeling and then feel that yes, no. Um, but what I can say, cause you have the truth of if this is yes, no, you have that answer. I don't, <laughs> for some reason, spirit is wanting you to trust yourself. It doesn't want you to have outside guidance here. It's part of this question is you learning to trust yourself. Um, what I can say about this question, what insight I can give you beyond the advice I've shown of how to get to your right intuitive answer, inner knowing that you have, um, 
this does feel like a directional shift for you or a time where you're having to make a decision and there could be some um, like negative thinking, pessimistic thinking right now. And that's also why I think the message was coming through of like you need to find to get that inner answer that is being that you're being told through this reading that you do have um you need to work on your your mental outlook and you need to do some practices of like really purging your mind of some negativity purging your mind of some anxiety purging your mind of some pessimism um because things are moving and there is like, yeah, I mean, literally like a fork in the road, there is a decision to be made um, and putting pessimism or anxiety or negativity on top of that isn't going to help you to know which fork or which decision to make. So it's just like confirmation of like, you need to work on kind of calming some mental things going on in your mind, some mind trappings, and to get into also an emotionally and a mentally neutral state, work on, you know, even if it takes you two or three days to just kind of like do some breath work, some meditation things where you just kind of just tune into your breathing, um, maybe even like some guided meditations on YouTube or something or the Calm app or the Headspace app, any tool you can use to just kind of get you into breath and neutralize emotion and mental chatter um, or at least detach from them a little more. That's gonna help you to get into the neutral space you need to be in to get your inner answer. So yeah, I mean, this happens sometimes, sometimes spirit, part of, of questions we have is like, um, part of the journey through that question is knowing how to trust yourself with it. And yeah, that's, um, that's what it is here. Learning to trust yourself. You have the truth, trusting the truth that you have within you, but you do need to get into a calm, neutral space to be able to hear that truth and then trust that truth. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna say unfortunately because this is uh, just what came through with spirit, it's neutral. Um, spirit is neutral, it's just saying this is a little, like this needs to be on you, but I'm gonna give you some, some advice about how to, how to get to that inner trust and how to, what kind of space you need to be in to, to trust the truth you already have about this question. Um, so yeah, I hope that that guidance at least is helpful and that you can kind of follow that and get into that space. And um, yeah, it's always beautiful when spirit is like, uh, you, part of, yeah, part of the growth of this question is you trusting yourself. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just going in circles now. This is where I'm gonna leave you. If it resonated, I always appreciate the things. Like, share, subscribe, and definitely always nice to um, hear kind and thoughtful comments. It's always nice to hear some voices behind just, you know, numbers to see that there's real people out there. Um, yeah, it's always good to hear from you guys in that way. So anyway, this is where I'm going to leave you. I hope you have a beautiful day whenever and wherever you are. All right, see you guys. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your Friday Insight with your yes, no, maybe questions. You guys picked this um, clear crystal quartz kind of in a raw form. So before I get into the cards to tease out this yes, no, maybe answer, just want to tap into some of the intuitive hits that were coming through. And I just... It's just so funny so far in in doing these readings there's been this like real through line of just like I don't know just like gentle 
um, I don't know if I quite want to say mystical energy, but like, um, I don't know. It's been a soft energy throughout so far. For you in particular, it does feel mystical. And that did feel like something to say here that like if this question, if you can't, if this is a question that would be hard for you to see in a kind of spiritual or mystical light, this may not be your pile. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you feel like you, that it isn't, doesn't have like a spiritual undertone or mystical undertone, but you still feel like um, this is your pile, you may end up being surprised by things that come through that make it more, your question a little bit more spiritual meaning, spiritually meaningful or something. But I did get that, that came through really clear here. There is, there is like a mystical type of, of um, message that's going to be coming through. So I don't no idea what the cards are. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's get into the cards and see what that that means. So we've got building blocks. Beautiful. And I love how the colors in this card just so beautifully go woo, with the colors of um, kind of around it in this corner. Okay, so building blocks, 10 of fire, okay, and then healing chaos. Mm. Yes, 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 okay, this is... Um, Hold on, I'm just like, whatever's coming through is really hard to articulate, so I'm trying to find some words to kick it off. It's like, it's like some power you are currently wielding. Like you need to believe in the bigness and the greatness you hold right now um and deliberately recognize um it's like you're holding a current of energy because of some really deep amazing building and work you've done yeah whatever you have been building around this question whatever efforts you've put in it has really solidified you and some powers you are wielding, but these powers may at times feel too big to handle, like it burns you to hold it a little bit. <laughs> um, and so there's this need to elevate yourself, to trust that something bigger than you has your back and that you actually can't hold it all of what you've built and what you are holding and wielding. But by consciously bringing spirit and guidance and spiritual help, um, seeking spiritual help, asking for spiritual guidance, asking for a mentor of your own, um, kind of elevating into knowing that, yeah, I'm at this pinnacle, I'm wielding some power, but I can't do it without other powerful people supporting me, that kind of thing. So however that translates to you, because it may not be like a need of other powerful people, but there's something, um, there's some support system you are needing to lean into right now to like have your back, to help you elevate, to help you stay above the fray, to help you recognize that the power you're wielding is um, a little bit in an ethereal realm. Like you don't need to be so weighted in the um, concrete world with this. You need to trust a little bit more of the ethereal nature 
with the power that's at your fingertips right now, um, literally at your fingertips. Um, yeah, it feels, it feels a little precarious, but the energy I was getting before turning over the cards was just like, if you let spiritual energy in here and trust like the universe having your back or spirit guides having your back or whatever it is for you, it's like, it will go, it will just, things will just sell. Things will just go exactly how they're supposed to go, if that makes sense. And I think that the situation around this question is probably complex. It may have to do with some healing. It may have to do with having to step in and create some organization or order, or it may have to do with surrendering to certain things, whatever it is to you around what I just mentioned. There is this thing of like, um, don't get down in the nitty gritty, stay above the fray, know that your power here is a little bit more ethereal, a little bit more spiritually centered and kind of move from a spiritual center with whatever your question is. And through that, you would get a yes. If this makes sense to you, you can, and you know what that means to you, absolutely, absolutely you can get a yes. If you're feeling like, I don't know what this means, uh, it's time to put the power down then. You're in over your head if that's the case. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just time to maybe delegate some responsibilities to other people to stop building higher, kind of stop where you are on the building of what you've done, kind of plateau for a minute and delegate. Um, it's like time to pause if you don't understand what I was talking about before. If you do, clear sailing to a yes. If you don't understand what I just said, it's time to plateau, to delegate, to um, put down this need to kind of take something further with this question. And so I don't know what, I think that's dependent on what, how you phrased your question, what your question is, if that still means a yes to, do, to you. It may mean no to some of you, um, and it might just be that maybe, like being in a pause, being in a plateau, you need to sit in that maybe for a minute to, to even see if, if you can figure out that more ethereal power, how to stay above the fray and trust in spirit as like a co um wielder of power here. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm feeling. If you know what I've said, you understand it, you know what to do with that. Yes. If you don't, it's time, it's a maybe, it's time to pause, to regain some center, to regain some strength, to delegate a little bit and then regroup from there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It was a very, abstract mystical message that came through but I that's what I felt from the start so it doesn't you know that shouldn't be any surprise but that's what came through I hope that resonates if not maybe choose a different pile and yeah this is where I'm going to leave you guys if it did resonate I always appreciate the things like share subscribe and definitely always nice to hear kind and thoughtful little comments from you guys to hear like a human voice um, beyond just some numbers and you know it's always nice to see like oh there are actual people not just technology numbers <laughs> coming through <laughs> anyway yeah um, that is where we're gonna end here so if this resonated well I've already gone over that yeah there's something looping here um, I think for a lot of you you need to like pause with this for a minute okay <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, yeah, we're just looping. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day though, wherever and whenever you are, and I will see you in future readings. 
Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your Friday Insight. Yes, no, maybe questions. You guys picked this lovely aquamarine stone. So before we get to your cards, I am going to jump into some intuitive hits that came through as I was prepping your pile to kind of create the kicking off point of the energies of where things are going at least. Um, so interesting throughout every reading, there's been very gentle kind of light energy going on here. Um, and it was no different for you. That definitely came through again. I don't know what that's about. It might just be the season I'm reading. <laughs> um, the quality of light in my own life right now. I don't know. Um, but that is what is happening. There's something gentle and more specifically for you guys, the word dreamy came up something dreamy around this question, or at least around the answer that is going to come through, um, which doesn't, you know, it feels neutral to me. That doesn't necessarily tell me a yes, no, maybe, because sometimes dreamy can be like escapist, but sometimes dreamy is exactly what we need for something. Um, so let's dive into the cards and see a little context around what what dreamy means here because that is definitely the word coming through higher power look at that and those colors mm, this feels really good okay page of earth and like a little pixie boy yes yes i love it and i think she, it's hard to see because it's kind of like a ethereal being but yeah she has wings and antlers Ooh, really plugged into yeah spiritual energy really light really ethereal really plugged in messages coming through from something higher like are you getting downloads if not you need to spend more time sleeping daydreaming doing guided meditations whatever it is that helps you to kind of um uh detach and float a bit if that makes sense okay let's see this last card potential oh i love this this to me is like whatever you're dreaming about right now isn't just a dream it has real potential and the downloads that are coming through the dreams you're having are actually downloads they're not just dreams and you even see this it's like heaven descending down into earth the stars are like pouring into the mountain it's like a reverse volcano <laughs> And that's like you, you're like the vessel and like something is pouring into you here. Um, so this is a major yes, but the caveat here is that you need to believe that this isn't just some wishy-washy dream, daydream, like this is something that is being given to you. This is a download that you're meant to get to like, but I think the work for you with that that earth that page of earth is like you need to now take move from dream space whenever you feel like you've kind of received that pouring down of energy like you have antlers or antennas that you're just like a receiving station for something once you feel like you've had that download or that pouring in of something um you need to then anchor it then you need to get into embodiment you need to ground yourself you need to ground this you need to find a starting point um, because there is potential here but the thing with potential is it's fleeting um so this is spirit coming through saying that yes is the answer here and on top of the yes you need to ground this and you need to do something real with it one step you need to ground it and take one step or take some time to write out a plan whatever it is something that's like 
If it's writing out a plan, that's still kind of anchoring it onto earth. If it's taking a step, an action step, that's anchoring it into the 3D. But there's something about, yes, whatever's coming through has actual potential. And to get that further, more concrete, yes, you need to ground this. So yeah, gorgeous. I mean, that's a pretty straightforward reading. And so, yeah, so beautiful and dreamy and I'm loving it. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's quick and simple and where we're gonna leave this. So I hope it resonated. If so, I always appreciate the things. Like, share, subscribe. And definitely always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments. It's always nice to um, hear some words behind a human voice instead of just, you know, numbers out there in space. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. So I hope you have a beautiful day wherever and whenever you are. All right, see you guys.